Patuna. Is it Patuna? How do you pronounce it, Manuel? Patuna, it should be. Patuna, show me. Patuna, Patuna. I'm struggling. Batuna. I'm struggling with the language. <laughs> So, I'm here at this primary school and um, early morning start with the future stars, it's hot, um, football pitch is pretty messy to be honest and basic, but the, the school itself as well, pretty, pretty run down to be honest, um, I just sat in a few lessons and from, from the school where I came from, um, you look back and you go, how much opportunity did I waste? where these children have a lot less opportunities. Um, the, the learning environment is pretty tough. It's hot, it's sticky in the classroom. Um, it's covered with flies and, and it's a crowded classroom. But the teachers have enthusiasm. The, the children have bags of enthusiasm. You have to ask yourself, where does that come from? Um, because there is potential there. And it's great that something like Future Stars has come along um, with an absolute cracking idea that they can harness this potential and give hope and help develop the school and make it a better place for these children to have a better start in life with their community to be part of Future Stars to be able to give what skills the British Army have given me to use what opportunity the British High Commission has given me in Accra to harness that and help OMA and Ipswich Town Football Club in doing something very special. To give opportunity to other Ghanaian children, especially from these five schools. Now, that's a fantastic, fantastic opportunity to be in. It's 
I just went for a jog and I was just out and I saw this whole thing going on and it's really weird. So somebody sold me this t-shirt, they told me it fitted really well and uh, you know, it's got all these lovely badges on it. And really, you know, it's only 50 quid as well. It's a real bargain. So to be involved in a project like this, you know, it's really rewarding. about 500 people here today all supporting the children it just shows what you can do if you get a few companies involved that are all listed behind me getting the right people involved getting enthusiastic people involved 
and we can really make a difference out here. We we'll start with five schools, little development centre as well. We're going to come out here on a regular basis. We've got two coaches now employed by OMA Ghana. They're going to go into the schools. So uh, I think we can really make a difference. And, and for me today was a, a humbling experience, but also an absolutely inspirational day. Just watching the kids enjoy themselves playing football. I think it just gives you an idea of the power of football and we're here at Ipswich Town, we're absolutely delighted to be involved in it.